Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel, The Picture Is Cute. Today I'm going to tell you everything about all the basic tools of the photo editing app, Snapseed. Snapseed is an incredible mobile photo editing app, but are you daunted by its huge range of editing tools? In this Snapseed tutorial, I will guide you through the app with step-by-step -step instructions and tutorials. You'll quickly master the Snapseed app even if you're a complete beginner. See the complete video without skipping the video to discover how to use Snapseed photo editing tools to turn ordinary images into stunning masterpieces. So let's get started. Let's open the Snapseed app in your phone. It's a free app from Google which is simply available in the Play Store. Also I have shared the link of the app in the description box. Tap on the plus icon at the center. Then the files will be opened. Select the photo which you want to edit. There are two Snapseed photo editing areas within the app, Looks and Tools. Switch between these areas by tapping Looks or Tools. A single video describing all the tools will be too lengthy. So in this video I will tell step by step everything about the first 8 tools of Snapseed. In the upcoming videos I'll share the details of other tools too. The first tool is Tune Image. The Tune Image tool allows you to get perfect color and exposure in your photos. Tap on Tune Image. Swipe up or down on your screen or the photo to open the Tune Image menu. Select the tool you want to use, example brightness, contrast, etc. When you've chosen a tool, swipe left or right over your photo to make the adjustment. You'll see the setting value at the top of the screen. So firstly, brightness, which helps to darken or brighten the entire image. Then the contrast, which increase or decrease the difference between the dark and bright areas. Next is saturation, which make the colors more or less vibrant. Then the ambience, which adjusts color saturation and contrast at the same time. Then the highlights, which darken or lighten only the brighter parts of your photo. Next shadows, which darken or lighten only the dark areas in your image. At last, warmth, which adds a warm orange or cool blue color cast to your image. To open the tune image menu again, swipe up or down. Choose another tool, then swipe left or right to adjust the setting. Repeat this process to use any other tools in the menu. After your edits are done you can compare the before and after versions of your photo using the icon at the top right. Tap and hold the icon to see the original photo. Release your finger to return to the edited image. When you're happy with your edited photo, tap the check mark at the bottom right. Next tool is Details. The Details tool brings out the texture and fine details in your photos. This tool works well on photos with an interesting texture, such as rust, wood grain, peeling paint, etc. Open tools and tap on Details. Swipe up or down, and select the setting you want to change. Like the other Snapseed tools, swipe across the screen to adjust the setting. In most cases, structure produces better results. The sharpening tool often reduces the quality of your image by introducing grain. If you do use sharpening, use it in moderation. When using the details tool, zoom in to see your adjustment more clearly. To zoom in, place two fingers on the screen, then pinch outwards, drag your fingers apart. While zoomed in, check your adjustment hasn't introduced quality issues such as grain. The details tool is fantastic for giving your texture photos the wow factor. But keep in mind that it won't improve all of your pictures. For example, you wouldn't want to bring out the texture in a portrait photo. This would make the person's skin look bad, and make them look a lot older. The next tool is White Balance. The White Balance tool lets you enhance your photo by applying different color tints. Use these tints to enhance colors, correct unwanted color casts, or change the mood of a photo. In the Tools section of Snapseed, tap White Balance. Swipe up or down to open the White Balance tools. When you've chosen a tool, swipe left or right to adjust the setting. There are two White Balance tools. One is temperature which makes the colors in your photo cooler or warmer. Second is tint which adds a green or pink color tint to your image. Temperature is also useful for correcting warm or cool color casts. The tint can be used to bring out the green colors in the photo. So, this is great for boosting the colors in your photos having leaves. When you've finished using the white balance tool, tap the check mark to apply your edits. The next tool is crop tool. In the Snapseed tools, tap crop. Select an aspect ratio, example original, square, 4 is to 3, etc. Or select free if you prefer to crop without being restricted to particular dimensions. Drag the corner handles to adjust the crop position. The crop tool lets you cut away the edges of your image. 
Cropping removes distracting elements or empty space from the edges of the frame. Tap the check mark to complete the edit. The next tool is Rotate tool. In the tools, tap Rotate. Snapseed analyzes your image and attempts to automatically rotate and straighten it. Sometimes Snapseed doesn't get the rotation right, or it doesn't automatically rotate your photo. To rotate your photo manually, drag your finger over the image. Use the grid lines to help you get the image straight. When you rotate a photo, the tilted edges get cropped. Check that you're not going to lose any important elements from the edges of the frame. If you're happy with the edit, tap the check mark. The next tool is Perspective tool. Open the Snapseed tools and tap Perspective. Select the Tilt option. To correct the vertical perspective, drag down over your photo until the lines become parallel. To correct horizontal perspective, drag left or right. The Perspective tool offers more ways to straighten elements and correct perspective problems. When adjusting perspective, be aware of the black areas that appear around the edges. Snapseed will automatically fill in these empty space. It uses pixels from the surrounding area to fill in the gaps. Tap the check mark when you're done. The next and last tool of this video is Expand tool. Open tools and tap on Expand. There are three types of expansion. One is Smart Expand, White Fill Expand and the Black Fill. Select the type of expansion you are going to do. Then drag one or all four edges. Pinch and zoom in the middle to expand all four edges at the same time. You can choose up to what extent you'll expand according to your pictures. When you finished, tap on the check mark. You can compare between your original photo and the edited photo by tapping and holding the screen or the photo. And here you go. That's all for today's video. I'll be signing off now. If you like the video please give a thumbs up. Like, comment and share. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more tutorials and informative videos on mobile photography.